Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and hopefully today we're going to start doing stuff again. So come on back here. Let me show you what's going on. Today we are talking any cubic Cobra S1, that thing right there, nozzles. And um, it, if you're, oh man, if you've had this problem, I, I, I hear you, I feel, I feel it because my printer printed great for 30 hours and then pff, pooped the bed, actually pooped nozzle pooped filament all throughout this nozzle over the hot end it was a mess um you know the the brass nozzle broke i mean it was just it was garbage um i actually took it all apart just to see you know kind of the workings of it um it looked like there was some rust on there i don't know i'm just saying uh, any cubic it didn't seem 100 percent. anyway um uh, reached out to any cubic back and forth and they sent me, um, or sending me a new nozzle. This is now weeks ago. Um, in the meantime, I got a nozzle off of uh, Amazon. Uh, looks exactly the same as the as the stock. Didn't work very well at all. I mean, it, it pushed filament out. It, it constantly clogged. Um, yeah, it it did not work. Uh, to the credit of the store I bought it from, they re fully refunded my money after a wonderful review i left um i do actually i said i would update that um just to say that they you know reached out and took care of me anywho so that didn't work in the meantime i went ahead and uh somebody said hey doug have you looked on aliexpress there's these updated ones that uh that, that you could use and i was like okay well um so i went on aliexpress a few, about well maybe a week ago and uh they arrived yesterday and uh so yeah i got three of them three boxes you know, uno dos tres um the first one i i labeled all of them because you know I, I had three uh the first one um i took off and uh wow that's smaller uh and you know look at that that's the original heat sink that's the upgraded according to aliexpress uh heat sink and looking at it the nozzle is also the, di the nozzle itself, the hardware, is smaller than, let's say, the, the one on the any cubic hot end. Um, but it's still a 0 0.4 nozzle. Uh, yeah, no, I know it is. I, I ordered a 0 0.4. Anyway, so I got this. Open it up. There's a couple of instructions. The heat, uh, the heat sock is oh, I'm throwing stuff everywhere. The heat sock is on it. But it says, and good thing I read this, besides caution, it says, uh, after receiving the goods, the hot end needs to hot twist the nozzle to prevent material leakage. After heating the nozzle to 200, tighten it with a wrench. Good thing I read that. So uh, after we get it installed, we have to heat it up to 200, probably let it heat soak for a little bit. They include a wrench here. Where is this wrench? They include a wrench, and we're going to tighten it down a little bit and uh, go from there. But I wanted to show you some interesting things. This comes. This little thing slides off. Oh boy. And um, there's just a little heat paste on there. Uh, heat paste? I don't know. The stuff that I would use putting on uh, a tran um, CPU onto a motherboard. I forget what that's called. Uh, silver. Man, my brain's not working. And then the thermosistor. And the thermosistor just sits in that little slot in there. And then this little clip goes over the top and that goes in there and voila that's that's it not really sold on that versus the cartridge type which goes in there and it's round and the whole thing gets heated up and hey but we're gonna see this thing hasn't been printing in weeks now so can't hurt as we're waiting still waiting for the any cubic one to get to us um but i did notice here is the original uh, tube. Oh, man, my brain is just bleh right now. Anyway, here's the original uh, throat. And it's, uh, you know, just a typical odd end uh, throat. I'm just going to call it throat because I can't think of what it is. And then you had the PTF tube in there. And the PTF V tube sits down in. Um, like this one. This is the original. It never really sat in there fully. No, it always sat proud. 
The Amazon one sat level. By the way, this didn't work, as I said, but it, it sat level. It looks exactly the same, but here was the interesting thing. I didn't notice it until I started to put in the first nozzle. This is a solid tube. There's no PTFE in there. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. So anyway, um, come on over here with me. I've got the machine uh, turned back on. There was a firmware update. So I did the firmware update. And now we're going to heat it up. And we're going we're gonna to hot twist. I think somebody needs to help them uh, write directions in English. Uh, if this works, I'm happy to help you uh, if you're watching. And uh, I'm just putting in, let me put you up there. Um, uh, I'm happy to help you uh, if you're watching this, uh, the company I bought this from. Uh, write these in English, and uh, you can send me more products for free. It'd be awesome. Hey, while this is heating up, take the time to hit the like and the subscribe button. And, you know, go ahead and maybe leave me a comment. I really appreciate it. Um, my other nozzle ones have hit, I think, more views than I, I, I thought I have in a while. Holy cow, look how fast that thing heated up. Is that really a 200 already? I mean, not, but it's almost there. Hey, the other, you know, <clears throat> while that's finishing, the other thing any cubic I don't like is this door doesn't fully open. I'm going to break this off at some point. I know I, I wish it had like just like a hinge that could go just a little bit more or maybe like get to this point and you pull up and you can take it off. Wow, that would make it so much better. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's let this run. And I'm going to come back and actually I think, I think what I'll. No, I'm going to let this run and I'll be back in a minute. All right, we're going to have to somehow work together here um, because I don't have any room to get in there. All right, so I may be blocking you. I'm just going to use a really small uh, crescent, crescent adjustable wrench. Man, I shouldn't do these videos this early in the morning. Uh, it's like five something. Anyway, I'm going to just so I can hold this and show you. All right, so we're going to come in. We got the adjustable just so we don't. Uh, what? Are you kidding me? I, I, it doesn't fit. Oh yeah, it does. Wow, that's a tight fit. <laughs> I just tried it on one of the, on the other one. I mean, it fits on there, but not easily. So there it is. Now we got it. All right, tighten down. Come on, get up there. Get on that. Holy cow. Yeah, okay. Not like that wrench is getting hot on me. Alright, that, that thing is tight. I'm, it's, I don't want to hurt anything. That's on there pretty darn tight. Alright, cool. So, uh, we got that. Alright, now that this is, uh, I moved it up a little bit out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. Here's the thing you have, you have to remember. You have to put on uh, yeah, you got to put on the front cover because if you don't, it's not going to hit the limit switch. Uh, the uh, X limit switch and, brrr, and you're going to have all kinds of shaking. and You're probably going to freak out the first time it happens because you forgot to put that on. Anyway, just, uh, you know, not that I know from previous uh, things. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to run a, now that we have it all back together, we have the silicone sock on. We've got to tighten down. We got the cover back on. Like I said, I'm not putting screws back in the cover at this, but let's go here. Let's uh, calibration. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's heating up. Pid, yes, there we go. So now it's gonna run the PID tune for me and um, we're gonna go from there. All right, so our PID tune on the nozzle is done. Oh, this is a new one. What is full calibration? This got to be up with the new. Uh, with the, oh, is that better? Yeah, now you can actually see it. Uh -oh. This will take about 20 minutes. Be patient. All right. I mean, what the heck, right? We got a brand new nozzle in there. We may as well try and do something. I mean, nothing else has been working as of late. So, okay. 
I don't know what it's going to do. Uh, I'm going to hit the pause button. I will report back when I when I know what it does. Stay tuned. And then at that point, we're just going to run one of the stock models that are on that came with this and, and whew, cross our fingers and see what happens. Wipe down the plate with some isopropyl before we do it, just for giggles. That thing's been washed. There's been yeah, it's been everything. So. Actually, we're going to do we're going to do a few different things before we get to that point. So stay with me. Here we go. All right, so we're doing a resonance test right now. Um, take this off and get you a little bit closer. Um, the the higher the pitch, the faster that uh, head is moving. So uh, it's. You know, just interesting. The the more vibrations, the slower. And I think it's just because it's going coo 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 into that. So, uh, and anyway, our resonance test is uh, moving along here, and I don't know what's next because it said twenty minutes. I don't think it's been twenty. I should have probably looked at the clock. <sighs> anyway, oh, it says finish. Look at that, and no no audible announcement that it's done. So we're gonna hit finish. Gives us all of our shaper inputs. Confirm. I mean, if that's the full thing, I guess the next step here is to go ahead and try to print something. So let's open this up. Let's get some rubbing alcohol. I am using ice, not rubbing. Oh, please relax. I promise. It's isopropyl 91. That's the highest I could find around here. And we're going to go ahead, dump a little onto that rag. We're going to come in here and we're just going to give, I'm not printing anything big. Like I said, this was already cleaned with Dawn and all of that good stuff. So there we go. Look at that. All done. Done, done, done. Close that up so I don't knock it over. Not that I've done that before, but I've dropped isopropyl everywhere. Anywho. Um, so it's reading our ACE, our ACE Pro. Um, I do have, I have two white filaments in here. Come on up here. I do have two white filaments in here. This one is uh, any cubic PLA plus, which looking at the screen is saying uh, PLA plus. And this one over here is just white PLA. And I programmed that in because it's Elegoo. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to test our nozzle. So we're going to go here. We're going to start printing test model. Uh, let's give the dinosaur PLA. Auto leveling is already checked. Filament dry, you know, we're not going to do any of that. We're not even going to touch it. We're just going to let it go. I don't know why auto level is on and turn it off. I can turn it off, but it seems like it's on by default. I'm going to turn it off because we just did a bed level. I'm going to hit start printing. It's going to color, yeah, with the one we want. This is all new here. There wasn't, I don't remember there being eight before this update. Anyway, all right. Are you yelling at me for some reason? Okay, I don't know. All right, so uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom you in here and get you all leveled off. And we're going to put this on hyperlapse and see what happens.
All right, I, 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 am, I am excited. We, let's hit confirm, that took 46 minutes. It was actually a little more than that. No, it was about 46 minutes. Um, that's, wow, we got a print. Oh my God, it's been weeks. I mean, weeks. I was a little, I was a little pessimistic, uh, pessimistic, optimistic. I don't know. I wasn't optimistic. I was pessimistic. I just dropped it about these. Um, I don't know if it was the firmware update. I don't know if it was something else, but wow, that seems to have worked. And our first print in some time here has finally been completed. Let's take a look at it a little closer here. I mean, from afar, looks good. Uh, the top layer, you can see some some lines, but that's, you know, 3D printing. Here is the Z. Look at that. Even, let's turn some harsh lights here. So I'm going to come this way just to put us in the lights. All right. So even on some harsh lighting, that looks pretty good layers. Here's the um, the bottom. I had to clean it up just a little bit around the tail, but we have an articulating print. Oh, I'm working. Holy cow. Here's the top. Wow. All righty. So fingers crossed, but it looks like we, oh my God, might be back in business. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to torture test this by giving it the multi-board. Um, but I got to be able to sit here and watch it because I don't trust it. Because if you know anything about printing multi-board, that's this pegboard system that I got going back here. Whoopsie. If you know anything about multi-board, this can be a real challenge for printers. I'm going to submit on that. And um, hey, awesome. If you're having problems with your stock hot end, and the tariffs haven't gone through the roof, and these things don't cost you a fortune, uh, I'm going to put a link from the ones that I got. But this was called Cobra S1C Upgraded Hot End. And it worked. And that's all I wanted. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Good luck with yours out there. Let's see if we can get back to loving 3D printing.